What's going on YouTube, Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. From generation three, we got ourselves a Breloom team for rank regulation H. Now, when it comes to Breloom, most of the times you see people rocking Spore, which we are using today, but a lot of people just Spore spam, but we're rocking out with Loaded Dice Breloom. Using Bullet Seed, Mach Punch with Technician to boost his damage even more. This thing should be able to do a good chunk of damage. And then occasionally, we will be putting Pokemon to sleep left and right. So, should be a fun Pokemon. Cannot wait to showcase it for you guys. But other things about this Breloom is it's Grass Fighting type. It's got the Ghost Terror type to deal with like Fake Outs or normal hitting moves. And then on top of that, like we already mentioned, we got Bullet Seed, Spore, Protect, and Mach Punch. Like I said, one of my favorite Pokemons of all time. Super excited to be using it today. Now, other Pokemon on today's team features Whimsicott and Indeedy for support. Whimsicott can set up Tailwind. It can go for Sunny Days for weather control. Indeedy's got Trick Room. It can imprison Trick Room, or it can do some big time damage with Psychic or Expanding Force in that Psychic terrain. Our final three Pokemon are going to be Hisuian Typhlosion, Archaludon, and Ursaluna. Now, Ursaluna obviously pairs up with Indeedy because of Trick Room. Archaludon going to be a great Pokemon within Trick Room and outside of Trick Room, considering his speed's like mediocre it's kind of like mid so again it can work inside trick room or outside trick room but this archer ludon also has a stellar terror type with the power herb so we do not need uh the rain to use electro shot so i can just send it get that special attack boost do some big time damage and then have archer ludon thrive out from there then obviously our last pokemon going to be his swimming type version pairs up with whimscott perfectly you get this boy in the sun drop some eruptions it's pretty much game over Guys, if you want to run the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Breloom team. First match on its way, and we are going up against Don Dizzy. Don Dozo, Tatsugiri combo with Glamora, Golden Go, Sneasler, and last but not least, they have Talonflame. So, they could definitely lead Talonflame. They could go for Tailwind, kind of set that up and get going. I could go into my Whimsicott. Which is okay, but I mean, if they're going with Talonflame, I'm going to be pretty much forced to, to Rastalize. Um, I could maybe try to go more for like a Trick Room kind of play. Got a few options here. Breedling, what's your speed? What's your speed? That's the real question. Speed's 122. Again, they got a pretty fast team. I definitely want to bring in Breedling late game. But who do I want to bring in right now? Do I just go in DD and like Ursaluna? Or DD like Archaludon? What is my play? I have Focus Ash for you. You know what? We are going to go Indeedee and Ursaluna here turn one. We'll bring Breloom for late game. And last but not least, we will bring Archaludon on its own. Because again, we got power. We do not need the rain. The rain will help us, but we don't need it anymore. Like usually you'll see like stamina with Assault Best Archaludon. But this one, I've actually been seeing it through Regulation H. A lot of people rocking Power Herb with Archaludon. So they can just send an Electro Shot without the rain. And usually after at least like one special attack boost, you don't really need any more. You just start using stab moves from there and you're doing a lot of damage. So let's see who they end up leading here. It's going to be Talonflame. Real question. It's going to be Talonflame Glamora. Talonflame Glamora on the field. I mean, we got Ursuline here. They probably think Ursuline is going to protect. I'm not going to sit here and, and fake it. So I might just attack here. I might just attack with Ursuline. Could go for expanded force, that'd be awesome. But I'm gonna set up a trick room first. I know this indeed is actually pretty fast. Yeah, 147, but still, they're faster, and I feel like if we can set up trick room here, we can really get cooking. Or I could just attack. I might just expand in force here. Cause the thing is, they probably think we Hmm. You know, yeah, we're gonna attack here. We're not even gonna set up trick room. We're not even gonna set up trick room, and we're gonna pop a hyper voice. Do I hyper voice? Or do I Earth Power and just get rid of you? All right, Earth Power. Let's do it. I probably should have just Hyper Voice, but... That's in case they double down into Indeedee. But they're going to go for a Brave Bird, which gets blocked by Terrain, which is actually huge. Meteor Beam's going to also launch here, so he's going to Power Herb Meteor Beam. Hopefully, he's doubling down into Indeedee here. That would be fine by me. That would be fine. As I'm sitting here, we got Ursaluna on the field, ready to drop it. Uh, Earth Power. We're going to soak that up. And I definitely should have Hyper Voice, but I mean, Expanded Force should do a lot of damage here. It should do a lot of damage. But more could be Sash, and it's not. So yeah, I definitely should have Hyper Voice. Definitely should have Hyper Voice. But, you know, Earth Power is going to miss now. It's all good. Alright, so we're sitting here. We got Expanded Force ready to roll. Um, I mean, what are they going to do here? Set up a Tailwind? I think they have to. 
I feel like they have to. They might attack here. They might. They're gonna go into Sneasel, who can who can't fake out because of terrain. Um, you could go for like close combat. Now that that would be a little bit scarier, but um, they're fast Pokemon. So I think if we want, I think I think if we if we can trick room, we'd rather trick room. So I'm gonna go for a trick room, and I'm gonna go for a hyper voice here. Yeah, I'll keep my ground type. I mean. I don't, there's no need for me to terrestrialize in normal. So Flareblitz gonna launch here and do respectable damage. Are they doubling down to Ursaluna? Is the real question. Are you doubling down into Ursaluna? That is the real question. You are. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. So you allow me to get off Trick Room. You drop your defense. I get Trick Room out and about. I honestly could have just dropped another Expanded Force. But you got some fast Pokemon on the field. We get out Trick Room and we're ready to roll. So Trick Room's here. I could just go straight into Breloom. Um. Hmm. Do I want to go Breloom or do, do I want to go Archaludon? I mean, Breloom's not a bad call here. Now we're going to go Archaludon. It's just, it's just a simple, better better call. Especially because probably indeed he dies out here. And I think we should just pop an Expanded Force. And then just go into... Do we go Electro Shot just for a special attack boost? I mean, your defense sorry dropped. I could Terrasalize you in a Stellar, but... I am scared of the close combat. That's my problem. I am scared of close combat. You know what? We're just going to protect our Archaludon on this turn. We're just going to protect them. Make it, make it simple for us. So we'll protect our Archaludon. Chances are close combat's flying out from Sneasler. I don't want to waste out this psychic terrain. But Expanded Force is going to launch it. Pretty much just get the work done ourselves, right? And you're going to sash up. That's fine. That's fine. So I could have doubled down on the Sneasler, but it was just like a precautionary thing. Because I also want to read out the speeds as well, just to see who is faster than who. And this protect worked perfectly, because we're just blocking this thing. We're just blocking it. So we have a couple turns left in Trick Room. They got one Pokemon left. Indeedy, so far faster than Sneasler. Might not be faster than their last Pokemon, depending on who it is. And it's going to be Golden Go. And I, honestly, you're not as fast as Golden Go. You are not, especially in Trick Room. But I'm still going to try to drop an Expanded Force. I could go for Psychic. Um, I mean, Expanded Force is probably our best option. Do that, and we're gonna double down into this uh, Sneasler slot with a Flash Cannon here. The Flash Cannon is gonna take out Sneasler, Night Night. And chances are Golden Go is gonna be able to attack. He's gonna take out my DD, and then just go into turn into a 2v1. Actually, no, wow. You are slower? I'll take that. This isn't gonna KO, but so. Gonna do, gonna do a nice chunk of damage. But now Golden Go is gonna drop a Shadow Ball, and I guess we're not using Breloom today. I guess we're not using. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa, is that choice? <laughs> That's gotta be choice. <laughs> that has gotta be choice. We have two turns left in Trick Room, which is really good. That has got to be choice. We're gonna go for a stellar Electro Shot here, just to make sure that we can uh, probably KO. But whoa, <laughs> that has got to be choice. That did a ridiculous amount of damage. That has got to be choice. Especially on the Arch Ludon, or maybe I'm just used to Arch Ludon rocking the Assault Vest and just bulking out shots. This is a totally different build. This is a totally different build. I'm going to Stellar Terra. You might, you might go for Double Protect, but I guess you're not. Like your shot's going to fly. We're going to get that Terra boost. And this should be game. This should be the ball game. Should be starting off 1-0. Wish we could have used Breloom, but Archaludon was just in a better position to win this game. So Archaludon, I'm going to send the Electro Shot with the Terra boost. Plus one special attack. Night Night to Golden Go. So GG to our opponent. Solid first match for us. Let's go hop to our second. Look to use Breloom. Moving on to match number two. And it's time to get out Breloom. We're going up against a pretty meta squad in Regulation H. They got Dragonite, Murkrow, Farigarath, Ursaluna, Golden Go, and Titar. So they do have weather control. And I think they are going to bring it after seeing Hitsui and Typhlosion. But I think a good lead for us could just be Breloom. I think Breloom is solid. We could go for more speed control with Tailwind. And that is something that I do like. So I'm going to go in with Wimscott and Breloom for the lead. I think, do we go into Hitsui and Typhlosion? Thing is, if they get that Sandstorm control, that could be tough. But I do have Focus Blast to deal with it. So I think late game Typhlosion could really just be good for us. So I'm going to do that. I could go Indeedee. I mean, Indeedee could be decent. Commanding Forces could fly. Do we think they're going to pop Trick Room? Maybe. And I think our last call comes down to either Archaludon or Ursaluna. What is the call? Looking at the team, I mean, Ursaluna is just solid all around. It really is, but Archaludon's got a bit more speed going for it. 
Flash Cannon is going to be super effective onto the T-Tar. We got Dragon Pulse, the Dragon Pokemon. We're going with Archaludon. Give me Archaludon, baby. Give me Archaludon all day long. All right. So, 1-0. Oh, we're leading Breloom this match. We didn't get it out in the last match. I'm hoping I can just, you know, rip up with some Bullet Seeds. Maybe throw a few mock punches around, but like technician boost with loaded dice actually does a fair amount of damage, which is good. I can only spore turn one if I have to. Let's just see who they go into. I'm guessing Murkrow, right? Murkrow Dragonite. Okay. I mean, I think I can tailwind out speed here. And what I'm thinking is just putting Dragonite to sleep, right? Just say night night to him. Just say night night to him. So yeah, that's gonna be my play. That is gonna be my play. So tailwind. We'll get that off. I wonder what dragon it's going for, though. It could have Aerial Ace Choice Ban. That's a little scary, but he's going to end up Terrasilize. This better not be Grass Terra. Out of all the Terras, there's no way it's Grass Terra. It's got to be normal. It's got to be normal. I do have Ghosts. It's going to be flying. That's fine. Ooh, ooh. Is it fine? Are you going for Dual Wing Beat? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Hopefully, I can put him to sleep before anything even happens. Hopefully, I can just put, put this boy to sleep. That's a real hope. Are you going for Tailwind as well? Here we go Tailwind for Tailwind. Breloom. Give me a little bit of out speed action. Give me a little bit of speed action. Let's go, Breloom. Let's go, Breloom. So that's a big time out speed. Um, gonna put him to sleep. I think we might want to swap our Breloom here. Save it for later. Might want to save it for later because I could go into just like Arch Loot on here. Yeah, and have Electro Shot ready to fly. So I'll do that. And on top of that, we are just gonna go into a just a Moon Blast into the Mercury slot. So if I get out Arch Loot, I'm dropping a Power Herbal Electro Shot. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That could be good for us. So we're, we will reposition. That Moonblast launching into this Murkrow, which I'm hoping can do half. He's going to end up taunting me. That's fine because, like, I swapped. So he wastes a turn with him. I'm not sporing anymore. And Moonblast launching. Just dump it on. I was hoping for half. We get a crit. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Murkrow. Please still be asleep. Two turns sleep is optimal. Thank you. Thank you, game. So we slumped you. Still got Breloom in the back end. Electro Shot totally gonna fly here, depending on who they go into. Most likely gonna fly. We got Tailwind up. They're gonna go into Golden Go. Okay, I don't, I don't mind you, Golden Go. I did not mind you. So Electro Shot gonna launch over to that slot, and I think we just doubled down at this point. Is that a correct statement? Yeah, we're gonna double down. Chances are Wimscott does die out here. Like, let's be honest. Make it rain's not looking good. But I'm gonna double down just in case Multi Scale is on. on. Special attack does drive. You are physical attacking and electro shot out speeding. So, pretty good plays from us. Really good plays from us. Let's be honest here. Set up a tailwind, put Dragonite to sleep, reposition, swap. Now we're able to electro shot. Plus, they used their terror too, which was the biggest part of it. So, we power herb electro shot plus one. Night, night, Dragonite. That would actually rhyme, so that's pretty cool. But <laughs> let's go. Let's go. We're thriving out here in match number two. Bye bye, Dragonite. Thanks for playing. Shadow Ball is going to launch. Let's see how much damage this does. Because the last Shadow Ball did a ridiculous amount of damage. Okay, then it's it's not... This thing is just a lightweight. This is a totally different Arch Ludon build. Let me see the EVs on this thing. Because last match, I was like, oh my god, that did so much damage. But I'm so used to my Arch Ludon just being bulked up in like special defense and having an Assault Vest. Let me see what you got here. Let me see what you're working with. Yeah, I mean, your special defense, 85. Your regular defense, 150. I mean, your special attack, 194. Woo! Going crazy. Going crazy. So now we're sitting plus one. Um, I could go flash cannon. I could go dragon pulse. Um, I think we just do this and then we, uh, hmm. Let me just launch a moon blast. Let's do it in this slot. Try to get a special attack drop. And there's a nice little protect from Ursuluna. So Ursuluna is going to protect. He's probably just going to get rid of, uh, Archuludon. But I mean, I get to bring out my Breeling after this, which is good. Give me a special attack drop. Uh, you have good as gold anyway. Didn't even matter. <laughs> Didn't even matter. Alright, so Ursulina blocks up. Chance our Shadow Ball or Make It Rain here. Shadow Ball staying. Are you choice? Because I would have went for Make It Rain there. Shadow Ball launches, and now I can just bring out Breloom. Technician? Bullet Seed? Ready to, ready to go? I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Tailwind's gone. I'll set up another one for the rest of the squad. I still have Typhlosion. I still have Typhlosion. I mean, Typhlosion is going to be good with or without Sun. I think I'd rather have Tailwind up. Reloom. Actually, what's your speed? Are we going to outspeed the Golden Go? That's a real question. I don't know. Kind of close to its speed. Because I know you're going to. We're going to go Bullet Seed. And we're just going to go into a Tailwind. We're just going to make sure we have speed with our Breloom. 
make life easy for us. Especially because Ursaluna just protect it. Now's a good chance for us to attack. So I'm gonna do that bull seat. It's going to fly with technician and loaded dice doing doing damage, man. Look at that. Look at that damage. Good call on RN. Bye bye, Ursaluna. We're guaranteed to hit at least four plus times. And four is all we need. We don't need the fifth one, so no orange you need it. We get a crit as our last one just to rub it in, but Breloom thriving out here in match number two. Chance are you send to make it rain here? Or are you choice in Shadow Ball? Let's see. Seems like you're choice in Shadow Ball. This should do some damage, but I have obviously my boy in the back, and you die out the one shot. Breloom's a little lightweight, but still got his job done, did exactly what it needed to do. Put the dragon to sleep, got rid of the Ursula in it, and now I can bring out the big guns. The big guns to finish off this match, his suing Typhlosion. His suing Typhlosion, and he was choice. And now I can just go for an eruption and go for a sunny day. I could have terrestrialized here as well, but they just canceled match. They knew what was coming. So guys, we are getting after it with Breloom. We're hopping into our third and final match. Looking to go 3-0, but we're going up against a Toad's Cruel team. Now, Toad's Cruel, definitely like an odd Pokemon, and I kind of forget its ability, but I know it's one of the worst abilities of all time. I guess hopefully we'll find out what it is. I really don't know. They got Corviknight, they got Dragonite, they got Galarian Weezing, which does take away ability, so that could be a little combo. Toad's Cruel and Galarian Weezing, and then they got Hisuian Typhlosion. And last but not least, they do have Palmot. So, I mean, I think just going like Typhlosion here with Whimscott is good because we can't be faked out. We got Ghost Type, Cobra Cloak. And I think we just outspeed, set up Sunny Day, and just start popping eruptions. That sounds like our best bet. We'll bring Breloom for late game. And last but not least, Archaludon. Yeah, Archaludon's our call. Unless I don't want to deal with ground type hard chomp. And I really don't want to. But screw it. Actually, we might want to bring Ursaluna. I'm going to go Ursaluna here. With the Silk Scarf. Could definitely bulk up a shot or two. We're going to bring Ursaluna. Archaludon against Garchomp. Just no bueno. Especially when we have uh, we have Stellar Tire type. We don't have like a typing that we can just change to and get rid of our weaknesses. Stellar Tire type keeps all of our original weaknesses. Just boost our damage. So I'd rather just go into the what's called. Oh, look at all the Fletchlings. I'd rather just go into the Ursaluna. But that trainer card was cool. Bunch of flesh Fletchlings with... Uh, with question marks on their heads. They end up going Paul Mott into his swing Typhlosion. Okay. I see you. I mean, you can't fake me out, which is just great news. I think we just set up a Tailwind. And sacrifice our... Our what's it called? So we're both choice scarfed. We're both choice, but I'm going to outspeed you here. I might just erupt still. Erupts can do... Eruption can do a huge chunk of damage. I'm going to go for it. Do I Sunny Day or do I Tailwind? I'm gonna Tailwind. Let's get some speed here. Let's get some speed for the rest of the squad. I'm still erupting. I'm still gonna erupt. The thing is, like, I know it's not very effective and I know he has Focus Hash, but, like, the damage, it should do close to half, right? And I feel like anytime you do half damage on a Pokemon, it's just a good chunk of damage. I was gonna go for Shadow Ball, too, but there is a chance that he Terrasalizes. But he's going to end up just withdrawing Palmot. That's fine. So Palmot's going to get the change. He's going to save him for later. And you're going to go into Weezing. So you get rid of abilities. Ooh, this actually takes... This actually changes the game. This changes the game right here. This changes the game. Now I don't get off 10. When you go on Fire Terror, you're going Fire Terror. Can I outspeed at least? Because my Whimscott's corner. Can I outspeed so my Eruption can do some damage? Oh, I Terrastalize as well. Okay, actually, that works out. That works out. Can I outspeed? I honestly might have misclicked in Terrastalize, but it works. But it works. I'm going to Terrastalize. And he's faster than me. The, ter the Terra animation just showed it. Tough news for me. That's a great swap to go into Galarian Weezing. All right, how are we going to play this one now? It's brutal. Luckily, we didn't pop like Sunny Day. Eruption launches. Just hoping we would outspeed him. Honestly, I probably should have known from the abilities. We do get a crit on the, uh, the... What's it called? We do get a crit. I do have Terra. Um, I do have Mach Punch as well. I have to bring that thing a little bit lower. So we're going to go into you. Um, I got to go for Hyper Voice. I have to go for Hyper Voice here. Do I normal Terra though? 
No, we're not going to normal Terra. We're choiced into that. We are just going to go for Hyper Voice. Actually, I can't even normal Terra. What am I saying? I already used my Terra. We're going to go for Hyper Voice here. This, this is a tough one. That was just a great play. Getting rid of the abilities. Like, I wasn't able to set up Tailwind. And that's why, like, I used Galarian Weezing a couple videos ago with slacking. Like, just being able to take out abilities is just so massive. But Eruption's gonna launch here. How much damage is this doing? Okay, I soak. I soak, which is good news. My Eruption now flies. This is gonna do about negative five. Unless I get crits. <laughs> oh my lord, that did nothing. Didn't even move. Hyper Voice at least outspeeds, which is big. Picking up some big time damage. Um, we like that. I think I just protect Ursaluna here. And I try to get out Breloom. It's definitely where I want to be. Because I can just mock Punch and KO this uh, Typhlosion. Hopefully they go back into Palm and they look to just like fake out. Yeah, I would rather them go in the Palm Mot here. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Is it going to be Palm Mizzle? Palm Mot's still scary because it's fast too. And it's a fighting Pokemon. Let's see. Let's see who's cooking here. But yeah, Ursuline to survive in that shot was definitely good for us. They go back into Palmont, so chances are they're going to fake out. I'd rather my my Typhlosion just die. I mean, I could swap it, but if I swap it, that means my Breedloom just dies. I mean, he has choice into Eruption. Hmm. I'm gonna think of something. I'm gonna think of something because Eruption's doing so little damage. They're gonna withdraw anyway. Okay. So they withdraw. Now actually could have been a good turn for me to swap. Garchomp does come out here. I'm gonna end up protecting. Yeah, I should have swapped Typhlosion. He's gonna fake out for the KO. Alright. So now we're sitting here. Yeah, no, this is tough. Our opponent just made some good plays this, this battle. I should have swapped my Typhlosion there. I just got my choice back. But his Typhlosion is faster than mine, which is sad news. Okay, so I got Breloom. I don't have Terra. They don't have Terra either. They can't fake me out, which is good news. And I think we just got to go for Bullet Seed in this slot. And if I can, just Earth Power down. Palmot, but chances are Palmot just close combat. Yeah. Could have went for Double Protect. That's really all I could have done. His defense is lowered, but I mean, we're going to be not very effective with Bullet Seed into that slot. Let's see how much damage Bullet Seed can do to Garchomp. He's going to outspeed me anyway. He might even one-shot me. Let's be honest here. Dragon Claw coming in. Soak this, Greedloom. Give me a chance. 22. This thing is Orb. Can we KO with this? I doubt it. It's going to do some nice damage, though. Oh, we might be able to. We might be able to. Greedloom does damage with Technician Boost? It's going to be 4. Can we get five? We do get five. Okay, so Loaded Dice definitely helps us out. We get rid of Garchomp. And honestly, this match was way closer. This match is insanely close because I can Mach Punch to take out Typhlosion. But then Paul Mutt just finishes me off. If I still had Terra, if I still had Terra, I could just Terrasalize into like Ghost here. Which actually would have bought us some time. But he sees that I got Loaded Dice. We can just go for Mach Punch. And that's going to be game. That's going to be game. That is going to be game. So, again, really close match. Came down to the wire. 1v1. Paul might ended up beating us. Big time plays from them with swapping the Galarian Weezing and not allowing me to get off Tailwind. Because if I did get off Tailwind, we would have outsped. We would have had a whole different battle and we probably would have won. So, big plays on their end. We end up going 2 and 1 for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, showcasing Breloom in ranked regulation H. I feel like it did pretty good in today's video. We didn't really get to use it in match number one. Match number two, it dominated, spored left and right, did some big time damage with Bullet Seed. And then match number three kind of did the same thing. Took out Garchomp in one shot, mock punched the Typhlosion, but it wasn't enough to win that match. But still, 2-1 winning record. I'll accept that. I'll definitely accept that. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.